Um, is it possible? Anything is possible. What you're asking is, is it probable? Okay, thank you. Is it probable to fly in this life with your physical body like Superman or Peter Pan? Yes, it is probable. But what degree of probability depends upon the person's belief systems and the reason why they might choose such a thing and the need for it to happen in their reality. Say you just wanted to fly just Idle for the curiosity fun of it. doesn't usually do it. Would your belief system have to be powerful enough to overcome gravity? It's not about power, it's about clarity. Hmm. There has to be a clear reason in how it serves you to do so and how it may serve others for you to do so as well. There has to be a choice made within the idea of the exploration of a theme that is to the benefit of you and all concerned as to that happening. Now that's becoming more and more probable in your reality as you get a better handle on the idea of what consciousness is and what beliefs are all about and how they manifest your physical reality experience and the fact that it takes place within your consciousness and not really outside. Hmm. So the idea really is a vibratory one, a resonance one, a frequency one. In the sense of how it happens in our reality, one of the ways we began to realize that such a thing was highly probable was when we first recognized that what you call location is actually a property of the object itself, not a place in which an object resides. So when you know that location is a property of the object and you learn to redefine the vibrational variable in the equation, the energy equation of the object, then if the location happens to be 50 feet off the ground and you impose that vibratory resonance or change that vibratory resonance within the location variable in the equation of the object, then the object must by definition start to exist 50 feet off the ground because that's its new locational variable. So it's all about frequency, it's all about resonance, it's all about knowing what your energy signature is and how your beliefs can align themselves to generate the appropriate energy signature to manifest that particular kind of an experience. Thank you. Did that clarify it or muddy it up for you? Um, muddy. All right. <laughs> Let's simplify this idea. If there is a true, strong, I'll put it this way, reason or need for this to happen, the probability becomes much, much greater that it will. Hmm. But you will find that many people wish for these things in a sense out of fascination or idle curiosity, but they really, 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 really don't need them to happen. And so they don't. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought you would say. Well, there you go. You see how smart you are? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now. Does that help you? Yes. All right. Pleasant dreams. And to you as well. <laughs>